The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. Proverbs 22 verse 7. Hey fam bam, it's me, just Londa. Have you subscribed? Have you joined the fam? Join the madness, join the fun. It's me, just Londa. Can we talk that talk? You guys, did you see that Canada um, stopped paying their bills? Like, they literally stopped paying all of their bills, their mortgages, everything, because they fucking fed up. What are we doing? We need to come together. This is. Now, buckle up, buttercups. Buckle up, buttercups. This is for my Canadians. This is for my Canadian people. For some reason, this popped up on my For You page on TikTok. I had no clue this was going on. And I was like, I want to know more. I want to know more. So let's just see what I'm talking about. You guys, did you see that Canada um, stopped paying their bills? Like, they literally stopped paying all of their bills, their mortgages, everything, because they fucking fed up. What are we doing? Making sure that we're not on the streets. We need to come together. This is... A snapshot tonight from Equifax Canada of the financial pinch Canadians are facing and the growing number missing repayments. Nationally, mortgage delinquency rates rose 52.3% in the last quarter of 2023, more in B.C. and Ontario, where house prices are higher. Delinquency rates for non-mortgages, including credit cards, rose almost 30%. High interest rates and inflation are being blamed for the surge. The financial picture comes... What? This is so crazy. These people are literally fed up and done. They all came together and said, yo, we are done. You see what I'm saying? So, did y'all get y'all send an email to everyone? Like, how did this work? Because that's crazy for you, all of y'all, everyone, to stop paying bills. Like, what bills are you start paying on? Like, did y'all, like, how did y'all come to to figure out which bills you're not paying on? Because you need your electricity, or they'll cut it off. At least in this country, they do. You need your water, if not, they'll cut it off. Because in this country, they will. So how did y'all, how did y'all come together to figure out which bills y'all were not going to pay? And for the people that are renters, y'all didn't get evicted? y'all are gonna have to do something about it like this is so crazy definitely let me know what y'all think because like they're maxing out credit cards on only just groceries they're not paying rent no car notes no none of that because the interest rates are out the wait so y'all not paying y'all car note either so the repo man is not working You know I'm in total loss for words. Just check out what you got to say. Because you know I came from fun like I, I've, I've, I've done a lot. But I've also used to finance vehicles. So you mean to tell me y'all are not paying your car note and the car is still outside? What kind of financial institution? About this. It's sick. There is no more cost of living. There is only cost of surviving. My girlfriend and I met for coffees the other day and she owes a little bit of money to the government and she was crying to me. Crying, saying, I don't know what to do. I'm working three jobs. I'm a single mother. Like, I can't oh. afford to live here anymore. So she had a call with the CRA and the CRA ripped her part they said it is unacceptable that you have not maxed out your credit cards to pay us it is not who, who about to max out a credit card to pay y'all 
the mere fact that she is a single mother, she's working three jobs, and y'all tell her to max out a credit card to pay y'all? Stop what I say. Now that's a new low. <laughs> that's a new low. Okay. Acceptable that you are paying a thousand dollars a month in groceries for yourself and your three children. You need to cut back. So she said to them. How you mean I need to cut back? My children need to eat. I need to eat to make sure that I'm paying some type of bills to make sure that there's a roof over my three children's head. What do you mean I need to cut back? If groceries and I have a small rant about groceries and I need to post it. Nevertheless, what do you mean cut back? What do you mean cut back? Groceries are expensive. Now, I don't know how expensive it is in Canada. But the fact that I had to pay $12 for a two pound seven, I think it's 73% lean, $12, two pounds is mad. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You're telling me that you want me to take the food from my children's mouth to pay your greedy ass when it's your fault that fucking groceries are astronomically priced right now. We are all in this together. We are all suffering together. The cost of living is killing people. It's Families are falling apart. Yeah, it's bonkers. Like, I, I don't know what they thought she was going to say, but apparently <laughs> it couldn't have been me <laughs> because I would have been like, hello, 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 oh, shenanigans, my thing is not loading, give me a second. Toronto, Canada is currently under... So y'all, here I am, sitting in the bed, y'all, writing in my little journal, getting my to-do list done for later on, y'all. And I'm strolling, just minding my business, y'all, and I come up on this not once, not twice, but three times in a row, so I have to speak on it, y'all. So they say, Canada, Canadian people of Canada have decided to stop paying their bills as a whole, y'all, because... They're not pleased with how the economy has changed. They're not pleased with the cost of things. They're not um, in, in pleased with the inflation at all. So as a whole, Canadian people got together and they stopped paying their bills, y'all. So Canada ain't paying no bills. Why we in America can't get together and do it, y'all? All of us on here, well, I can't say all of us because I can't. You know exactly why. I've worked in the financial institution. I've also worked for AT&T before when long distance was a thing, when, when AT&T had local service. If you didn't pay it, they cut that off. And I was one that cut them off. I was the one that cut y'all. Uh, you, you wasn't... Uh, 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 you, uh, why you know exactly why because as soon as we stop paying stuff the government not even the government the companies will just repossess turn off and we're in the dark with no water spoil food because there's no electricity and an eviction notice on our door but I could be wrong. 
speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself when I say I'm a single parent who works two jobs. Not one, but two jobs, y'all. And I dabble in social media and sometimes ends still don't meet for me. I'm right here using Afterpay, Kelowna, Zip, or Firm, and all this stuff to make ends meet in my household because things have went up so dramatically. Prices of things is yeah. so crazy, y'all. The Canadian people came together, y'all, and they said enough is enough, baby, and they quit play, paying them bills, baby. They say forget that until they government get it together. They ain't paying no bills. Us Americans need to be doing the same thing, but no, we around here worrying about the presidential election. We were we around here worrying about the Super Bowl and 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 who who performing. We around here worrying about the Dallas Cowboys playing the Saints tomorrow. Who that? <laughs> we worrying about these things instead of you know not paying these bills so this government can get together and drop these prices back down so we can afford things again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> It's expensive to live. It, when did that happen? When did we take that turn? That the mere fact that you had to make a decision on if you're going to eat lunch or if you're going to put that money into your gas tank. Like, wh when did that happen? Like, when did that happen? Toronto, Canada is currently undergoing a strike within the city due to rent being too high. Toronto is home to 2.8 million people and over the past few years have become the fastest growing city in North America. Now, just in the last decade, Toronto's housing prices are growing four times faster than usual and rent is growing two times faster. Now, just in terms of rental housing, Toronto is the sixth. Now, I will tell you, I know, um, I don't know if y'all remember, I was venting in a video of some years ago um but when we were looking for a house to rent when we moved to georgia we could not believe how much rent was and again my husband's military so we have bkh and we were like that's not enough <laughs> Now, if you don't know me, hi, I'm just Londa. My husband and I are a military couple. We have two homes that we currently rent out. You know, we just did a rental raise. <laughs> like, we're not greedy. We make money off of our rental properties, but we're not greedy. Why? Why should we be making this hard for the other people? That's something that my husband and I truly understand. And that's why we never, ever, when it's time for our property to become uh, up for listing, either they just go ahead and keep renewing or once it's available, like if someone has to move or something of the sort, it gets snatched up like this. It does. Just like this. Um, we're not giving those crazy standards. Like right now we are starting to look for a home because um, my family's dog is no longer able to be on the installation. Nevertheless, um, so we have a son who just graduated from high school. Like he just graduated from high school. So because he's over the age of 18, excuse me, because he's 18 and over and he's no longer in high school, he has to have a credit check done. Now, I do recall them doing that with our daughter. And I was like, well, boo, they did that with our daughter too. He was like, but they're not paying nothing. I was like, I get it. It's just the mere fact that they're in the house. But these people are wanting a 650 credit score. 
Who has a 650 credit score? My son. My 80 year old son who has no credit, who just graduated from high school, who can't even figure out what he wants to do with his life. That one? That one. That, 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 that who has the H100, uh, the uh, 650, credit score, 650? That is, is. Most expensive city in the world. In most cases, tenants use rent strikes to bring attention to the less fortunate within their buildings. But for most, it's a tool used to protest larger rent increases. Tenants who withhold their rent may receive an eviction notice from their landlord for non-payment of rent. Right. Even if they're one day late. The document that may be used is called an N-4, a notice to end tenancy early for non-payment of rent. One thing is for certain, whether it's in Toronto, Canada, or the United States. Rent prices have skyrocketed for sure. Yeah. All love to everyone involved. Bow. Last Dear fellow one. Americans, I don't know what they got going on in Canada, but pay your bills. Our government does not fuck with us like that, okay? So if you want to be out on the street, homeless, and maybe not be able to enter a shelter right away, Pay your bills. I know we are fed up with the government. Everything is expensive. Ah, 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 ah. Pay your bills. It's too many of us homeless already. For real, for real. It's too many of us homeless already. I know we get these bright ideas and it's like, take over the government. Don't pay the bills. If we could, we can't even come together for this election we can't come together to tie shoes y'all gotta come we gonna come together for this like we can't come together for the simplest stuff y'all really gonna try to come together to not pay your bills and it's not even the government that will shut us down it's the people that will shut us down so the mere fact that You stop paying your rent, an eviction notice will go up. You stop paying your electricity bill, you're now in the dark. You stop paying your car note, your car is no longer in the front yard. So, I don't know. We'll show them. No, they're going to show you. And I don't want to see anybody on the streets including myself because you know what there are so many homeless people and the fact that that mr beast guy was going around the world doing these homes for people in this video we are building and giving away 100 houses and each home is going to change a family's life like this family who didn't have a house to call their own families we're giving them all houses at the same time. Eight families' lives are about to change forever. Attention, everybody. Remove your blindfolds and turn around and look at your brand new home. What about your own country? What about your own country that has all these homeless people? Why can't you do anything for them? I really wanted to do a piece on that, but I just kind of figured y'all wouldn't be interested in it. However... All these, we, we don't need to see homeless people. We don't need to see any more homeless people. So pay your bills. She's right, pay them. Because uh, the eviction notice is going to go up. The electricity is going to get turned off. Your car is going to get repossessed. So I'm going to say. And I might purchase it. Again, pay your bills. Canada, they bold. They bold out there, but no. Pay your bills. America don't like us. <laughs> they sure don't. They sure don't. They do not like us at all. We're worried about the elections and stuff like that. They don't care about us.
All right, I do have another. They say the people in Canada not paying their bills, right? People talking about some, yeah, so when the United States is going to start? We're not. What you going to do in Center Point turn them lights off? Like, for real, I'm, I'm not participating in no unorganized bullshit. Like, for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, comment down below. My, my Canadian people, y'all just stop paying bills. So, no one ended up on the streets. No one is sitting in the dark. Everyone still got their cars. Like, I'm confused. Um, I want to know a little bit more. <laughs> How did that, how is that working out? That's what I want to know. How is that working out? So comment down below my Canadian people. Let, let me know because I desperately, I desperately want to know how is it working. So on that note, fam fam, thanks for watching, rating, subscribe. Wait, uh, hold on. Hey to my new subscribers. Thank you for uh, subscribing and watching and things like that. Commenting, you know, giving it a little thumbs up. I appreciate it. I see you. We see each other. Thank you so much. So I just want to say thank you. So again, thanks for watching, rating, subscribing. All that good jazz that made me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. Peace and peace. Bye. And, um, if you saw that makeup artist that wouldn't leave, definitely uh, look at your works husbands and work wives. <laughs>